Um, I studied here as a student, and uh, one of the people I studied under was Meredith Klein, who was a biblical theologian, and I think that sparked my interest in the topic. I'd like to talk today about uh, my new publication, which is finally nearing completion. Uh, it's a three-volume set on biblical theology. Biblical theology classically is distinguished from uh, or differentiated from systematic theology for the following reason. Systematic theology presents you different aspects of theological truth. There will be a doctrine of God, a doctrine of creation, a soteriology, a doctrine of salvation, pneumatology, a doctrine of the Holy Spirit, and so on. That's all very good and proper and helpful. Biblical theology, by contrast, will take up a certain idea or theme and follow it through the Bible and see how it develops. One important theme in my work is that of covenant. God made several divine human covenants, uh, and through history we see how those unfold and work out, how each covenant reveals more about God's nature, and unfortunately for fallen human beings, more about what God requires. And so they lead us eventually to our need for Christ who fulfills the requirements for us as we put our faith in Him. Another feature of biblical theology, and this may be the dynamic feature, you can read things and learn. You can read systematic theology and learn an awful lot. You can read biblical theology and learn an awful lot too. But biblical theology follows the contours of the narrative, the biblical narrative, the big picture, in details also. And so it really invites the reader to get into the material, to interact with it, to own it, to appreciate and appropriate more fully the nature of God as He's revealed through the process. And that's one thing about the covenants. Each of the covenants reveals more of God's nature um, so that by the time we reach the new covenant, we reach that covenant mediator, Jesus, who Isaiah prophesies will be a covenant for the people. He is a covenant for the people because He in Himself embodies everything that the covenant relationship is. And in that covenant, we see God's nature most fully revealed. Um, and so this, this really reaches the point, it's all along the important point of amening God, of believing in God. But we're invited by the development of the narrative to see more and more who God is, what He requires, but also what He offers. My hope for this work, now that it's completed and will soon appear in its entirety, is that if it's a work that God has called me to do, as per Ephesians 2.10, it will accomplish what He wants. We really hope that it will contribute in some small way to advance His kingdom.